Good, how are you? I'm Brad Pratt, please spawn. Nice to meet you. You have a name? Uh, I do. You do? Yeah. Didn't want to tell me? Uh, not at the moment. I'd okay. rather, yeah. Okay, so when people uh, take pictures of government buildings, in particular police department, uh -huh. it does cause some concerns to some folks let us know. Of course. That's why I'm contacting you. Fair enough. Does that make sense? Yeah, so not a problem. Is, is there anything I can help you with? Uh, you got a badge number? Okay. What I asked you, is there anything I can help you with? I'll be happy to give you all my information when we're oh, okay. okay. Uh, I'm, making an, I'm making a threat assessment right now, okay? Okay, yeah, no, fair enough, man. I understand. Uh, not at the moment. I don't really need help with anything, you know? Okay. Uh, I'm just getting shots for a story. Uh, I was just trying to get uh, squad cars driving up and down the street early. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to, like, disclose any license information. The gate. <clears throat> yeah, I was just trying to get pictures of some squad cars, some marked units. Uh, I'm not, like, disclosing any, like, license information or anything like that. Uh, I just need some pictures of some marked units. I'm not buying it. Okay. Do you have an ID I can see? Uh, I'd rather not give it. I'm asking you for an ID or else we're going to detain you and get it. Okay. Um, well, you have to have reasonable suspicion that yeah, committed a do, crime. Because you're outside a law enforcement facility okay. acting suspicious. That's all I need. Uh, is that a felony or misdemeanor? That's a misdemeanor. Being suspicious? Yes. Really? Yeah. It's called disorderly conduct. Because you're outside a law enforcement facility okay. acting suspicious. That's all I need. Uh, is that a felony or misdemeanor? That's a misdemeanor. Being suspicious? Yes. Really? Yeah. It's called disorderly conduct. Uh, Do you have an idea that I could see, please? Make this a lot easier on yourself, pal. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, I'd rather not give uh, are, my information. You, you, are, you, don't have you a are required to identify yourself. Okay. If I committed a crime. And I'm Disorderly you, conduct. Disorderly the Supreme conduct. Court has ruled that photography on a public sidewalk okay, is... We'll do it my way. Come with me. I don't have any weapons, sir. How do I know that? I'm telling you, I'm just... How do I know that? Okay. Just so you feel better. That's... I it doesn't understand. Mean you feel better. Okay. Where's your car? Uh, who said I drove? I got your car key right here. Okay. Trying to be cordial with you, you could be You're a little be respectful. At all with me. I'm gonna put his camera just on the hood of the Please car don't talk. Don't, don't do touch my camera. Okay. I don't consent to any searches you, you, or seizures you of my have property. To. I'm gonna just so these don't slide off. All right. Alright, so, as you can see, I've been illegally detained and thrown in the back of a squad car for disorderly conduct because I didn't want to show my ID, which I didn't legally have to. Disorderly conduct. Standing on a public sidewalk taking pictures. They didn't even want to listen to me. And they took my camera from me. All right, hey, do me a favor. Yep. Just pay attention to me real quick. So, you gotta meet me in the middle here, okay? And here's what I'm asking for. Just listen to me for a second, okay? You gotta meet me in the middle. When we're making this type of threat assessment, think about it from our perspective as well, okay? I understand. I understand the law. I understand your rights, all right? I protect them every day, okay? So what, now think about it, just flip the script for just a second, okay? Guys taking pictures of our back gate, of our secured lot, mm -hmm. okay? Guys taking pictures of our building in this climate, right? This People, day and age? Yeah, okay. right, does that yeah, make yeah. sense? Gotcha. Okay, so that's the reason for the contact. Okay, and, okay. I, and, I, and I know the camera and the recording. It's just it's, to keep me safe, man. That's fine. Everyone's recording it. Okay. All right, everyone's recording. You guys have body cameras? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So the point is this. All right, I don't know what your function is, why you're here. But hold on. Just hear, okay. So hear me out completely. Okay. If it's a legitimate uh, 
uh, enterprise that you're involved in, there's probably a, a damn good chance we can help, okay? Provide some assistance, provide some insight, help you get what you need so you can be as successful as you want to be for whatever store you're running, whoever you work for, freelance, whatever the case is, okay? All that being said, okay? With all that being said, okay? Public safety considerations outweigh all of that, okay? The Constitution? That is the, where it all comes from, yeah. Okay, my point is this. When you're contacted with this type of suspicious activity, okay, since we're talking about constitutional rights and all that kind of stuff, based on the type of con police contact you have, you are required to identify yourself. Okay, you are, period. CRS 16-3-103 states you have to have a reasonable articulable suspicion that I have, am, or am going to commit a crime. Disorderly conduct is not standing on the public sidewalk taking pictures because the Supreme Court has ruled that that's constitutionally right. protected activity. Okay, so I can show you my degree in, in criminal justice as well. I took a constitutional law class. I get all that. My point is this. Since you're as well-versed as you are, you fully understand that with this type of police contact, you are going to be required to identify yourself. Now, with all that said, okay, not looking to make a Supreme Court case out of this, not looking to to blow this up in anything bigger than it is, but we are going to positively identify you, and there's no way around that, okay? Does that make sense? I'd be willing to give you my first name. Okay, well, we'd be halfway there, man. You see what I'm saying? And so I started this, if you'll think back to the start of this uh, conversation, mm -hmm. I'm asking you to meet me in the middle on this, right? Interject a little bit of common sense into this thing. I, I do understand where you're sense? coming from, public safety and all. I, I do understand right. it. Do you? Um, with that being said, I still would rather keep my personal information safe um, sure. unless I you know legally were obligated to give it which I you would are. understand uh, which you are you've not given me suspicion of a crime okay well first of all I told you you were being detained for the suspicion activity that's going you on you can't here. legally detain me it. for suspicious activity absolutely I can have you heard Turner versus driver have you heard Terry versus Ohio yeah, exactly. we're not we're not so going this is a Terry stop. we're not going to compare Okay, our knowledge of the Constitution at okay. this point. But what we are going to do, I'm just letting you know how this is going to go. Okay, as smoothly and as quickly as it goes will be completely dependent on your cooperation with this inquiry. Okay. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, okay, after you're willing to give me your first name, is I'm going to take your phone. I'm going to put it on the hood of the car for my safety and my cover officer safety. Okay. For my phone. Yeah. How does it make you unsafe? I'm recording this. Okay, I'm going to explain it to you after I put it.